Hi guys! In today's video I will show you what's in my backpack for my Southeast Asia backpacking adventure. If you don't know me, I'm Isabel, I'm from Germany and I'm on an open-end world trip but currently I'm in Indonesia, so in Southeast Asia and I adjusted my packing list to this climate zone and the conditions of this part of the world. I hope this video will help you to pack correctly for your Southeast Asian adventure. Okay, let's start to talk about the type of bag. I don't want to give too many recommendations here because in the end you need to feel comfortable with your backpack, your trolley, your suitcase, your hand luggage, whatever. In my opinion it's easiest to travel lightweight and here's some reasons for that. In Southeast Asia, depending on the location of course, streets or walkways aren't that good so you might have problems to roll your suitcase over the ground. We even saw people who needed to carry their suitcase over the beach because there was no other entry to the homestay. Another advantage of traveling light, you can easily go with a scooter from point A to point B and you don't need a taxi driver or private driver all the time. Also with speed boats between the islands, it's definitely harder with a big backpack, but it's definitely still possible. However, as you can see, I am carrying a huge backpack here in Asia. <laughs> So I don't even take my advice for serious. No, just joking. I'm on an open-end world trip and I just need a lot of stuff and also I brought too many things. <laughs> yeah, but this is my backpack. Actually, it's a hybrid backpack. So you can just carry it like a trolley, like this. But you also have the feature of of a backpack here so I can still carry it over the beach if I need to. Shoes. To be honest, you just need two pairs of shoes. Everything else is an extra. So one is flip-flops. You will live in these things here and you should make sure that they are comfortable because I hate it when they hurt between the toes. Your second pair should be hiking shoes or good solid sneakers. So you need them for climbing volcanoes, for day trips through the jungle, hiking to waterfalls. So yeah, make sure that they are solid and that they protect maybe your ankle. I just have solid sneakers with a good profile here. If you just want to party in Bangkok, you won't need these, so go with something more casual. I also have a pair of sandals which can get wet and actually I find these very useful so also for hiking to waterfalls if you need to go into the water. Um, yeah, I really like them so maybe that's your third pair of shoes that you should consider. <laughs> and I also brought another pair of sandals which I haven't worn the whole time so they are completely unnecessary. And I brought another pair of sneakers, which would be like for partying in Bangkok, but I don't need these. <laughs> Clothes. Don't even know where to start. <laughs> I brought so many. So first, you will need a jacket. This is a lightweight jacket, so it doesn't need a lot of space in my backpack but you will definitely need it for hiking volcanoes or other mountains because in the early mornings it can get really cold even here in Southeast Asia. And as well for the same reasons you might need a pullover also for traveling in airplanes or speedboats or trains because the air condition can be really really strong and cold. T-shirts and tops, just pack as much as you can carry. <laughs> but don't forget rule number one, you always need less than you think. This is such a stupid rule, because we all know that we always pack too much. I like to carry a mix of short and sexy shirts like this one and some wide and loose shirts like this one. I also pay attention to the color palette so that almost every shirt suits to my trousers or skirts so I can 
I can combine a lot of outfits. Laundry is actually quite cheap here in Asia, so you can easily get your clothes washed and dried during your vacation. And I also carry a small travel detergent with me for hand wash. I don't know if you can get this in another country, but we have it in Germany. It's called Rai and I really like this one. <laughs> so you definitely need one pair of long pants for the same reason as the jacket. Hiking volcanoes, early mornings, cold air-conditioned places. <laughs> Actually, another pair of long pants would be nice, like a airy, loose one to cover your legs in the nighttime for mosquitoes, but I don't own one yet. How many short pants you need, you decide. Again, as much as you are willing to carry. Maybe think about taking one pair of pants that is comfortable for riding a scooter with it, so with a little bit longer leg. <laughs> bikinis or trunks if you're a man. So I carry a lot of bikinis because I like them for nice photos, but if you're not in that insta game, I guess one bikini is enough. Underwear. I almost never wear bras, but that's of course depending on your personal preference. What I can definitely say is that you will sweat a lot in Southeast Asia. So you might want to consider a sports bra because they dry very quickly and also they are comfortable. So that's my choice of bra here. You can survive with three slips if you wash them every day. But I carry a seven day supply and that's totally enough. I use packing cubes to store all my clothes within my backpack. One last thing before I forget it, a sarong. So you will need a sarong in a lot of countries here in Southeast Asia to go to temples. And yeah, if you don't own one yet, you can easily buy it here. This one actually I bought it in Ubud in Bali. Toiletries. So this is very individual, also depending on your skincare routine back home. I won't go through all my toiletries because I brought way too much, <laughs> but I want to give you some advice. Obviously, you can buy everything you need here in Asia. Well, almost. Compared to Germany or maybe also the rest of Europe and the US, I find it very hard to find good cosmetics here in Asia. You can get the basics, but in my opinion, there's not a big choice of different brands and formulas. If you're, for example, into natural or organic cosmetics, you might want to bring them from home because I couldn't find a lot of products here so far in Asia. Also, if you don't like silicones in your hair care, then also bring them from home because I couldn't find a single shampoo or conditioner without silicones in, the, in it. Also, a lot of products in Asia contain whitening effect because they like their skin to be very bright and white and not suntanned. So you might consider that if you want to use body lotions, for example, and sunscreen. So you can buy sunscreen here, of course, but not everywhere. And the choice of brand formulas yeah, and product is very basic. Also, it's very expensive in my opinion compared to Germany. So I brought, I bought this bottle here in Bali and it was $14, at least compared to Germany. That's very expensive. <laughs> As sunscreen is very important, my advice is to fill up the empty space of your backpack with some, with some bottles of sunscreen. Mosquito repellent. I prefer to buy it here because it's cheap and I feel like it's more effective than the ones you can buy in Germany, for example. So this one is from the the so this one is from the brand Sofel here in Indonesia and it's my favorite. Makeup. I brought this huge bag of makeup. It's so heavy and full and I haven't used it a lot. So maybe I put on makeup once in two months <laughs> and in Germany I love wearing makeup I actually wear it almost every day but here I just don't need it also don't forget that your makeup might melt on your skin here in Asia because it's super humid and hot 
So in conclusion, if you really care about your skin and your hair and maybe you have some skin issues or you care a lot about the specific ingredients in your skincare, then you might want to bring as much as you can from home because I find that the choice here in Southeast Asia is very limited. Of course, everything is depending on the country, so there might be a country in Southeast Asia where there's a huge variety. Last category, miscellaneous. So I carry a travel sheet with me that's like a sleeping bag, but it's just a small thin cotton sheet. So I like these for, <laughs> for dirty home stays. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. If the bed in an accommodation is not that clean, I like to use it. First aid kit, also important. Um, you can buy everything here in Asia, of course. My advice is just to bring something against travel, sickness um, and or <laughs> diarrhea because it can definitely happen here in Asia that you get sick. <laughs> I also carry a yoga mat with me. <laughs> so this is a travel yoga mat. It's very thin and you can fold it. I really like it. You don't need it. You just need it if you want to stay fit <laughs> and if you enjoy yoga. What I find very useful is a wet bag where you can store your technical and important belongings if you're going on a rafting tour or a waterfall, hiking, adventure or a jungle trip, whatever. So yeah, just a small bag where you can put the most important stuff like a smartphone and your money passport in it. This is my belt bag and I love it so much. I find it very pretty and useful. So I take it with me every time I'm just going out for dinner or explore the, like the city where I don't need my big uh, hand luggage or camera bag. I can definitely recommend you something like that. And the last thing that I will mention in this video is a rain cover for your hand luggage or your camera bag if you don't want it to be completely soaked in heavy rain. So rain can be really, really strong here in Southeast Asia, at least in the wet season. So you can just put it over your, simply, you can just put it over your uh, camera bag and it won't get wet, wet, <laughs> wet. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it won't get wet. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you could get some advice from it. I hope that this will make your packing easier and also I hope that you will have an awesome trip to Southeast Asia. Tell me in the comments where you're planning to go and if you have some more tips for other travelers or for me maybe. Of course you can also subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss my travel adventures around the world. Underwear! Underwear, toiletries. Schon jetzt voll vergessen, was ich sag. Scheiß drauf. Okay, see you in the next one. Subscribe!